Welcome to Zion's podcast, Casting for Christ. Here we are. It's Wednesday, January the 18th in the year of our Lord, 2023. We are back. We come to you from our studio at Zion Lutheran Church in Casperville. I am your host, Pastor Greg, and it's great to be with you today. This is the day the Lord has made. We rejoice and we're glad in it. We're going to start off this morning with a little bit of Bible trivia. And the Bible trivia question for today is, who prophesied that a star would arise out of Jacob? We'll get back to the answer to that question, but first our devotion for today. It's entitled Troubled. It was written by Dr. Kerry Bow of Lutheran Hour Ministries and is based on Matthew chapter 2, verse 3, where I read. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. Someone asked me once, but why was Jerusalem troubled along with King Herod? I was very surprised. Then they realized they probably never worked or lived with an abusive person. When your abuser is upset, believe me, you, you know it. You're afraid to be his next, you're going to be his next target. This makes daily life a misery, of course, but it does something else. It can also mess up the way that you think about God. If someone in authority over you mistreats you in serious ways, you can start to wonder, is God abusive too? Will he understand the situation that I'm in or the mistake that I made? Will he forgive or will he berate me and make me feel two inches tall? Even though our minds know better, our hearts still expect a blow. Jesus understands this, and he is immeasurably gentle with those of us who have suffered harm like this. His patience and kindness are deep, so deep. As Isaiah puts it, he will not cry aloud or lift up his voice or make it heard in the street. A bruised reed he will not break, and a faintly burned wick he will not quench. Isaiah 42, verses 2 through 3. God himself has suffered abuse. What else was the cross? And what went before it? And come out on the other side in his resurrection. And he will lead us to share in that same new life with gentleness, teaching us to trust an Adam at a time. Because his love is real. We will wait. He will wait for us as long as it takes. Would you fold your hands and bow your heads as I pray? Dearest Lord, thank you. Thank you for your patience with me. Amen. Well, that brings us back to our Bible trivia. And the question again was, who prophesied that a star would arise out of Jacob? Well, the answer to that question is found in the book of Numbers, chapter 24, verse 17. It was Balaam. Let's wrap up our podcast this morning with a reminder about our various media ministry offerings on Facebook and YouTube here at Zion Lutheran Church. Every Sunday, in addition to our in-person services, which you are encouraged to attend, you may watch the live stream of our worship with communion services on Facebook Live at 10 a.m. All the services will be archived for later viewing on Zion's Facebook pages, as well as uploaded to our YouTube channel after the service. And there's this podcast, Casting for Christ, each Wednesday, beginning at 10 a.m., and then archived. In Romans chapter 1, verse 16, Paul records these words, For I am not ashamed of the gospel, because it is the power of God that brings salvation to everyone who believes first to the Jew, and then to the Gentile. Pastor Greg here, your host for Casting for Christ, encouraging you to witness the gospel boldly this week. We will see you again on this podcast next week. Have a great week, and God's richest blessings for all of you. And all of God's people joyfully say, Amen. Amen.